What's up guys, Jacob Orth back here, another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys today from inside McCarran International Airport, if you guys couldn't tell. And I already did the video about walking around uh, like Terminal 1 here at the airport in Las Vegas, so I'm here, might as well go to Terminal 3, and I'll show you guys how to get on the shuttle that takes you from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3 in case you happen to get off in the wrong place or get lost or whatever the case is, all right? So, I mean, I'm just really at the uh, baggage claim in Terminal 1. So, baggage claim, you just have to come to this part right here, the same place you go to if you're going to catch Uber or Lyft at the airport. I did a video about that a uh, year or so ago on how to get rideshare at the airport. So, we're going to come here. We're going to hop in from baggage claim and we're going to go down to one level to terminal three. We just got off at level zero. So now we're going to take the shuttle to get us over to terminal three. So let's come right out here. And you just follow this big yellow sign. You can't really miss it. So just follow this crosswalk right out of here. Walk past all these limo drivers and people waiting to pick up their uh, clients. The sign will tell you parking and shuttles to Terminal 3 this way. Okay, you just come, you just hang out right here, and here is your shuttle, says every 15 to 30 minutes is how long the wait typically is. Okay, so made it here to Terminal 3. As you guys can tell, it's pretty quiet out here. There's uh, not that many people around <laughs> here at Terminal 3. So, for those of you that don't know, Terminal 1 is the domestic flights. Uh, Terminal 3 has some domestic flights, but it's mostly uh, international flights. So, like even for me, when I fly in and out, in and out of Las Vegas, um, I usually wind up going out of Terminal 1. Although I do believe when I came here to visit years ago to uh, find a place to live and I was staying on the strip and all that, I actually flew into Terminal 3. So, again, it's so quiet in here because there's hardly any people. <laughs> and I think the uh, baggage claim is right up here. I mean, cause let's go look over here real quick. This is obviously all closed off, not being used. Down there, it looks pretty dead. So, let's just walk this way.
Let's see all the flights we got coming in. Your pet relief area is on level two near gate D50, in case you guys need to know that. We got here, we got Phoenix, Salt Lake, Long Beach. We got Calgary, we got Canadians coming in from Edmonton. LA, Minneapolis, Guadalajara, more Calgary, and a bunch of American cities. Man, Terminal 3 is quiet. <laughs> Again, like I filmed Terminal 1 video, this is a uh, Thursday afternoon. So it's not like Friday where it's the craziest time of people coming in. What do we have here? Oh, SIM cards. And a pharmacy, huh? Get your Imodium, your Gas X, suntan lotion. Gosh, I wonder what, let's see what this costs, number 41 here. If I can, let's see. Selection, 41. 20 bucks! 20 dollars! <laughs> For that copper tone tanning sunscreen lotion. Tanning, defend, and glow. Oh, man. Right, let's see what this five-star energy drink costs. Let's look at this. Four bucks. All right, you even got your feminine products, your protection, your fresh breath. Gosh, first aid kit, let's see how much a little first aid kit costs, then we'll move on. 20 bucks for a first aid kit. <laughs> oh man. Yep. There's some people getting off a flight right over there. And this here, you can see, oh, here, here's the sign. It says ride share up this way. Take the elevator and the, and the stairs right here up to the parking bridge. This is from uh, when I did the video of the Uber and Lyft pickup at Terminal 3. I did that one uh, just this year, I believe. That one I did much more recently than the Terminal 1 video. But yeah, to get up there, to go to the Uber and Lyft pickup spot's pretty easy. And Terminal 3 seems much more like you would get in uh, the airport in any other city. Because, I mean, look, I don't see slot machines all over the place here. It's not nearly as chaotic as Terminal 1. You've got all this wide open space to walk through. It's much quieter. I know. There are some seriously busy airports in America, with Vegas being one of them, but you find a McCarran, you find a Terminal 3, <laughs> it is quiet. You have Starbucks so far is like the only food or drink option. All right, let's go this way. Hey, somebody's not wasting any time gambling. <clears throat> hey. Winner, winner. <laughs> Is it a good idea? <laughs> it's gonna help you. Redeem slot tickets before departing. Good idea. Tickets expire 180 days. I see this on the strip too. If you ever uh, have to cash those in, any of the casinos. And I've had one before that um, it had actually expired, but I just went to the uh, cashier over at the cage and just the manager just took care of it. I guess he just over did a override in the system or something and still paid it out. Looks like we have at least one flight. Jet Blue coming in from New York. 
Really, it's more like one carousel being used. I see one down there that's on, but I hardly see any luggage on it. Jeez. Well, let's just go down here and see where this ends. Yeah, looks like there's more baggage claim. It's all down here, nothing exciting. Yeah, they got a few carousels down here on, but. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty much it around here. We'll go step outside. I don't, I don't think outside's got a whole lot more to see. We'll go take a look. You can still see some of the strip here from Terminal 3. Like I can see Mandalay Bay right over there. Yep. See Mandalay Bay, I can actually see the top of the Cosmo too, right there. But yeah, Terminal 3, definitely much more mellow. <laughs> much more mellow than Terminal 1. Seems like the, probably the signs are easier to follow apart. That's probably just because there's not you know, people crowding you everywhere because there's so many people coming in. But yeah, guys, I think it's gonna do it for this walkthrough of Terminal 3. So now you know how to ride the shuttle to get from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3, and that same shuttle will take you right back if you need it. So it comes around every 15 to 30 minutes, and that is it for walking around McCarran International Airport here in Las Vegas. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so down below. I do appreciate all you guys watching. You guys are absolutely awesome. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm Jacob, this is my life in Vegas.